Hi guys, it's been too long. I'm so excited um, to open this kiln with you. So let's get right to it, um, cause I'm just too excited. So this is gorgeous, right? One of my last videos, I used the same combo on um, the 266 standard clay, the dark brown clay body. So I wanted to see what it would do on B-Mix. So this is just white B-Mix and it's the Peacock Technique using um, the flux. So you do the flux U's or triangles. I did them all the way to here. And then dots are uh, stroke and coat hot tamale and Amico's deep red fire brick. And then I went over it three times with uh, Reactive Red by Spectrum. And then on the back, this is Fire Brick all by itself on B-Mix. And this is the um, Fire Brick Red three times to here. And then I did the Reactive Red over that. I went light on the bottom because I didn't know if it would run. So that's probably two coats of reactive red. Really, really pretty though. That's a winner, right? I love it. All right, so there's that. Um, I've been playing with gunmetal green from Coyote. It's very runny. So um, this is just gunmetal green three times on B-Mix and I actually washed it off because I forgot how much it runs and then I washed off from here down and put snow to stop it from running. I just, I love it by itself. It's so pretty. It's got like a matte and a shine to it. So there's that. Um, this is another chip and dip spiral bowl. Um, the combo, I've done this before. It's two times blue midnight as a base, two times blue rutile, and then uh, one time seaweed and one time vert luster, and then a rim of heavy flux. I like how it like did that around the uh, the little spiral. Gorgeous. Okay, so this is a combo I use quite a bit. However, I knew not to use soft white but I did it anyway and I went lighter on the bottom and it still didn't prevent running. Um, uh, did I say pearl white or soft white? Cause this is soft white as a base three times by spectrum. And then it's um, to about here. I did two times of um, power turquoise. And then I did two times on top of that band of um, blue rutile like stripes, like little swatches, just random of um, blue rutile and then two times of those swatches of seaweed and then a band of flux, make a light flux. I mean, I we'll love that. It was real close. So we're, Matt's gonna have to do some grinding it's almost worth the grinding, except, except on this one, because that was a nesting set. And it just ran, and not only that, it cracked right in half. There's like a huge crack down the middle. So this this will be, unfortunately, not salvageable. Um, there's usually a casualty or two in a kiln opening, so this is just my famous clean, crisp, easy 
speckled buff Laguna clay with pearl white three times inside and on the rim. Oh, just love it. Oh, speaking of, because I use the speckled buff a lot, I wanted to try it with um, Honey Flux by um, Amico and see like a side by side, hold on, see a side by side comparison. So this is Honey Flux, which I did four times on the outside by accident. I meant to do three, but I forgot and added another coat around the handle it ran. But that's the Honey Flux. versus the pearl white. I love the little spiral that it, it caught. What do you think? Very similar. I, I like them both, so, you know. Um, oh, so I, I've been playing with Honey Flux uh, quite a bit. So I have a set of four Honey Flux an iron luster on B mix. Look at that handle. And honestly, I could have gone heavier on some of these. Uh, maybe not. They're just, those are easy like gifts because they're kind of neutral. I have a lot of closings this month of October, so there's a lot of like neutral closing gifts in here. Um, oh, so I tried on a white speckled clay. I did some texture with a stamp and then I did like white under, I'm sorry, uh, black underglaze watered down and wiped back and left it raw. And then I did two times of gunmetal green on the outside because I know how runny it is. And it did run around the handle and stuck. But that's all right. I mean, I, I'm gonna fine tune it next time. But look at that gunmetal green all by itself on a speckled white stoneware. Well, white stoneware, sorry, with grog. Now, all the cones pretty much came to uh, like, the bottom and top shelves are like the coolest. So they're like a five and a half, cone five and a half. Um, whereas the remaining shelves hit like a six and a half. So that's the gunmetal green. And then I tried it um, with a, yellow um a yellow not underglaze um you know what i mean wiped off what i use to make colored clay i can't think of it <laughs> um but anyway i wiped it back i don't know what do you think of that like design I think it's kind of cool to leave like some raw on the white. Cute. Something to play with. Um, I had three weddings this summer. So I've got some mugs, some Mr. and Mrs. mugs. I hope um, my brother doesn't watch this because he got married and these are for him. They weren't ready in time. So... Um, all three times of Honey Flux as a base, except for the bottom, I went light, and you can see that. I don't mind it, though. So you've got the three times uh, Honey Flux, and then from the um, top to the bottom, I did... Uh, Blue Routile two times, then a stripe of Power Turquoise, then Sapphire Float, um, Smoky Merlot, 
and then fire brick. So all stripes from the bottom down. And of course I always go light on the handle. It's a little splotchy, but I kind of like it. It goes with it. On the inside I went heavier. So these are for my brother, Mr. and Mrs. The letters are one time honey flux and then the sapphire float wiped back. And uh, then I put a uh, wax resist over them so the glaze wouldn't stick to it. Um, this is um, another wedding for my one of my nephews. I've got the um, three times honey flux. And then I did um, the top is cinnabar, the middle is seaweed, and then the bottom is marigold. And I did the um, cinnabar on the misses, and I did the mister in a um, satin black. So um, these were her wedding colors. So I was trying to match that and I think they came out pretty perfect. Um, these came out really cute. I hope she likes them. Him and her, sorry. <laughs> um, but I have a few more to do and then um, <clears throat> I'll be right back because somebody just pulled in the driveway. Okay, so I'm back. Um, my friend April's here. She is our massage person and also friend, and I can't wait to get a massage. Like, you have no idea. So that's on the next, next hour. But So check this out. So this is Honey Flux and... Um, Honey Flux and Iron Luster, but it was on the bottom shelf, so it was not it didn't get super hot it got to like a five and a half and i noticed that it didn't run as much as the middle shelf which was like a hot cone six and a half almost a seven they're still beautiful um oh my god i'm so excited about this one like i can't i can't even contain it <sighs> okay i can't take credit for it because i saw I saw this on the Amico Facebook group, but I tweaked it. Um, so what I did was satin matte on the bottom only. And then above that, I did um, three times honey flux all over, except for the inside, which is just black aventurine, which is gorgeous. I hope it's food safe. I'm pretty sure it is because I looked it up. But anyway, so on top of the honey flux, there's stripes um, that I did overlapping each other. Um, let's go from the top. There's two times of each Mako eggplant. Um, deep fire brick. Um, Albany slip brown. Oatmeal lustrous jade and then power turquoise i mean it took a while i mean i just i'll do it again they're kind of it's like kind of like a rainbow mug but i'll show you like another rainbow kind of thing so these are freaking cool i can't take credit for it um there's a you a new youtuber called um mugwort's artwork and she's new and like her glaze combos are insane they're so cool um i'll link her in here like she you guys you should check her out so <clears throat> i got this from her and these are just a test so it's all on bmix and what i did was i did a new a whole new thing i poured i poured like just right out of the container like random like like messiness 
Um, and then I kind of almost like finger painted it a little to not have it be too thick. Look, it ran, but it ran so perfect that it'll sit like that. Okay, so I did, I did a pour, like a random pour of lavender mist just once, and then Spectrum Sangria, and then, and then Stroke and Coat Caribbean Blue. Okay, and then I just threw some dots of Reactive Red by Spectrum, some random dots and then I did uh one and a half times of sandstone um because I was nervous so I did like one full coat all over it and then I did like another coat to here and just like wiped my brush off on the bottom so it didn't really have a full one coat and then just right here I did one thing of pearl white and that's just come on isn't that like so cool definitely need a cookie because it'll run i know um I, i'm just i'm thrilled with these that matt will have to grind that because this one but like it sits flat like that i might just leave it look it i mean how cool and then we'll grind that one you know you can't see it. So there you have it. Um, those fun mugs. Check out Mugwort's artwork on YouTube, guys. You'll love her. <clears throat> All right, I'll hurry up here. I've got a few more to do. I'm not crazy about this. I might reglaze these, but I wanted to try a new combo. Um, so I did. Whoop, I did um, Chun Plum as a base with Merlot on the top, smoking Merlot. And then over that, I did two times seaweed just to here. And then I did three times black aventurine at the top. And then I did um, two times of oatmeal. I mean, they're actually, they might not, they're actually, I don't know, they'll grow on me, but kind of fallish. Um, okay. And then um, you can come if you want. And then um, I'll show you the inside. Almost done. Um, okay, these all have the same combo. I made these for Matt. He doesn't like them because he wants a thinner handle, which is crazy because he has humongous hands but that's okay um so this is um speckled buff you know what it is you guys know come on you know i love pearl white pearl white for life so it's pearl white as a base um and then what did i do I did, um, I can't, oh, I did, um, Power Turquoise, and I think that's Cobalt. I lost my notes. Yeah, Cobalt. I'll double check that, but you can see it. It's gotta be. All right. And then the last two. Um, Do any of those mugs go with pumpkin whoopie pies? Oh, guys, April's here. It's time for a massage. Oh my gosh, did you make these? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, she made us some. What are they? Pumpkin whoopie pies. Pumpkin whoopie pies. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so the last pieces are, this is on the black clay, Sio 2 black clay. Um, three times of the red fire brick. I put some texture in there just to see what it would do. And then the top was um, three times of that reactive red. I thought it would run more than that, but 
Um, it didn't, which is fine. This is just like a little uh, bud vase for flowers out of the garden, which it's over, but it doesn't feel like it. It's like 80 degrees today and it's October, the beginning of October. So this one here um, is on the speckled buff. I've done this before, but it runs right onto the shelf. So I went super light with it. And it's, um, I did one and a half times of seaweed as a base. Um, two on the inside. And then I did one and a half times of winter wood. I think the shelf might have been crooked because see how the drips are like that? I probably could have gone a little heavier than that, but I was nervous about the about it running too much. I was a little safer this time around. Um, so yeah, so that's, I think that's everything. Oh, we have this last one, I, I'm not sure. Um, we did this, which is just on the black clay, pearl white, pearl white for life. So interesting how this pearl white on um, black clay comes out like this, like a mat almost. But if you put it on, um, if you put it on this speckled clay, it comes out like that. Very interesting. Okay, well, there you have it. Um, I'll see you guys again soon. And um, yeah, that's it for now. <laughs> Bye.